What up, fellas? This is Tony G from Walleye Fever. Great to hear from you or great to see you. Uh, what we're going to do today is show you if you ever have a big fish that comes up and it hits your lure and it completely obliterates your O-ring, kind of like this one. If you can see that, that's an obliterated O-ring. It's no good. It did it to both O-rings. And sometimes that happens where it gets caught in the net also. But this one was definitely from a fish. There's the batter wounds on the lure there. Um, so what you do is you buy you some O-rings that are in comparative size to the one that's on there. Same size. You're going to get you some O-ring pliers. We're going to show you how to do that. Got to have that little hook in it right there. You buy you a new o-ring just like that new o-ring you stick your pliers in there and you're going to split that o-ring i don't know if you can see how it's split pretty easy then you take your hook and you just push it right on there try not to hook yourself and that's re doing your hook anyway now you have an o-ring back on your hook now this happened twice to both hooks so i'm gonna do this one as well real quick for the sake of video here we go and i'm on video so it's a little bit different to do it a little nervous all right there we go okay so that one's kind of on there, you see, it's kind of, there we go. So then you just take it around. Okay, now that one's on. Now you get this thing, which is completely, completely annihilated. You can see that it's a mess. About split the O-ring in half almost. Okay, that's off. Now you probably want to start with the back one or the middle one and then go to the back one. So then you get the right placement on your O-ring. Make sure you split it again to where it opens. If you can see that, how it's open there. Maybe, maybe not, but it's open. Take it on your lure. Maybe you're a little bit better handed than I am with this. There we go. Okay, try that again. There it is. You grab it, twist it around. Okay, and now it's, now it's on. There, there's that one. Two on there, go to the third one, do the same exact thing. You're just going to split your o-ring open get that little groove in there and my bifocals there we go see how you get it in there and it's split and it's open go to your last one in the bottom here try not to hook your finger because that would really stink move your fingers ever so gently twist it around and couple ammo assuming that the lure is not damaged and it's not leaking you've got a brand new lure again but make sure you try to get the same size o-rings as you head on there if not it will affect the weight and this might sink instead of doing exactly what it's supposed to do so thanks for watching there you go that's how you reline reline that's how you re o-ring your lure when a fish pulls that off there so Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Peace out. Walleye fever for life. There it is. Walleye fever, baby. Woo. <laughs>